Well, guys, here we are. Everybody's been wondering for a while now since we found out that Deadpool and Wolverine were coming in under two hours with the first reports, just how long would the final cut of the film be? Well, with the final reshoots that recently happened, it looks like we know exactly where it lands. So to get straight to the point, Deadpool and Wolverine will run two hours and seven minutes with the credits. Now, if you're keeping count, this means that the film is going to be somewhere towards the shorter runtime of the MCU. Now, again, this isn't the issue for me, because again, it's how you use the time and how you balance everything out just by everything we know about this film and the fact that a majority of it takes place in the void. It looks like we're gonna get exactly what we want in terms of the amount of content that's here and everything that we're expecting. Now, if you've been keeping up with the run times, originally, we heard it was about an hour and 50 to an hour and 52 minutes. That's with credits. But obviously, as you edit the film, as you add and take away things as they went back for multiple weeks of additional content and cameos, mainly by the sounds of it, it sounds like we're pretty much right around two hours total runtime. And then, of course, the credits. Now, internationally, the film will be listed as longer as international. You have to attach the local credits, which run typically double the length. Sometimes they speed through them, depending on the studio and the logistics and whatever. But around two hours and two minutes is expected to be the runtime. So two hours, two hours, and two minutes. It's fine. In my opinion, I think this is a good runtime. I think they can do exactly what they want with it. I mean, I thought, like Marvel's for how quick that film is, did exactly what it needed to in its allocated runtime, and it's the shortest MCU film to date. So, you know, I don't have a a problem with this. I think it's great. I think just over two hours is perfect. It's the longest Deadpool film, and I tell you, watching Deadpool 2 feels like it's a seven-hour film that I just want to end, where I watch Deadpool 1, and I feel like it's a barely hour-long film, because it's just so quick and paced so well that you don't feel it. So, you know, I just hope that this feels like Deadpool 1, where it's just to the point, and it gets it done, and you're like, oh wow, that was a ride. Thanks for watching. See you there.